my my pastor, um, Apostle Gino Jennings, he broke that down very clearly for me in the church. God doesn't give you the spirit of fear. Like you're not supposed to fear no man on this earth. Fear not the one who can harm the body, but fear the one who can harm both body and soul. So me, I fear nobody on this earth, but I fear God. I fear what he can do to me. And I don't want to be on his bad side at all. Right, but the Bible says God don't give you a spirit of fear. Well, like I said, my pastor explained it, you know, it, it basically means not to fear nobody on the earth. You got to have, you, you basically got to have like the Holy Spirit to understand it. You're not supposed to fear nobody on the earth. You're supposed to just fear God himself. Well, one of the things that God wanted to, uh, I think it's in, I think it's in Luke. I'm trying to find that verse. I think it's in Timothy that says you, uh, God didn't give us a spirit of fear. Yeah, I think it's in Timothy, but I can't find it right now. Yeah, I think it's in um, 2 Timothy. It says, for God doesn't give us the spirit of fear, but of power and a sound mind. So, yeah, like, I think that's 2 Timothy now. Let me look, because I don't want to say nothing wrong. Yeah, I'm just but, saying. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with that scripture. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, you adding the rest to the verse. Like, it don't, it don't say you shouldn't fear men. It just says God doesn't give you a spirit of fear at all. But see, that's what I was saying to you earlier, sir. You can't, you got to have the Holy Spirit when you read in the scriptures. You can't just read something and say, oh, that's, that's, like, you can't use your human knowledge, your human well, logic. The, to is, uh, the scripture says that you shouldn't add or take away from the word. So me, I'm just reading. I'm just a reader. You know what I'm saying? I'm just reading what it says. It says he don't give you a spirit of fear. That's what it says. Right. Okay. Well, that's that's my personal opinion about it. I fear no man on this earth, but I do fear God. So do you I fear, fear what He can do, do what He can do to me. I'm sorry. Do you fear Jesus? Yeah, I fear God. So Jesus was a man. Jesus was God manifested in the flesh. In John eight forty, Jesus said that He was a man. Okay, sir. So you don't believe he was a man? He was God manifested in the flesh. But he was a man. Right? If you wanna if you wanna go there with it, yeah, that's fine. What's yeah, I mean, that? I mean that's what you believe. You believe he was fully God and fully man. Right? I believe that he was God manifested in the flesh, yeah. Was he a man? I already answered you, sir. Let me let me let me go to Jesus' words himself, right? Y'all don't when I when I bring out Jesus' words, what he said, what he said he was. You don't want to believe what he said that he was. No, it's not. John, it's not that. Let me read the words for you. John eight forty. He says, "But now you seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth." Now, who did Jesus say he was? Sir, I, I hear you reading the scriptures, but I mean, like I said, you got to have the Holy Spirit when you read it. Jesus scripture. said he was a man. The scripture you read is true. Yeah. OK, so you fear a man. OK, did we did, did you want to talk? Up, did you want to talk about the other topics as well? No, but I, I mean, this is dealing with the topics, though. Right, but you said that your ultimate motivation is fear. My ultimate motivation, I said, was not going to hell. I didn't want to go to hell. Yeah, so the, the thing driving you to God is fear, right? I mean, if you want to say that, I mean, me personally, I feel no, you, like. I mean, no, you but, said that I didn't say that. No, but what I'm saying is, like, it's obvious that you and I have different views about it. 
because you said that you were an ex Christian, right? Right, but I'm talking. I'm talking about what's in the Bible, though. Right, you're an ex Christian, so you're an ex Christian, so you and I have different views on Scripture. That's why I said, like, I'm not even trying to debate. I was just trying to answer the question. I don't even have a view. I'm just reading what the book says and asking you questions. I mean, why is that an issue? It's not an issue. I just feel like you're not seeing it the way that I do. So there's no need to really go back I mean, and forth. All Christians don't see the Bible the same. So I'm aware of that. I mean, how do we know what belief is correct? I disagree with that. I mean, we got 40,000 different denominations, but okay. Let's go to. Yeah, I disagree with that. I do. I do know that we have like a whole bunch of denominations, but we got a church in every corner that believe different things. <laughs> I do believe. I do believe that we have like a whole bunch of denominations, but me personally, I think there's only one true way, and that's holiness. And I feel like all these other denominations are man-made. So that's just my personal opinion.